Okay, we have done that. Let's go ahead and do it again. Just in case. Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with my first ice cream uh, box, and that's uh, I and then Scream. Um, they're a new beauty box that comes out once a month, and that you can pay to subscribe to and you get about five to seven products that are full size and you're guaranteed to go ahead and get one eyeshadow palette. Um, I haven't tried it before. This is the first month that I've gone ahead and gotten that, but I figured we'd go ahead and get started. And I started off with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Uh, this one is in light. You can get this over at the direct store. It has hyaluronic acid and squalane in it. So if you're looking for something that's really moisturizing but soothing, uh, this is a good foundation for that, especially like maybe if you've gone in and had a facial and your face feels, you know, just like really um, delicate and everything. This is a good one because it has squalane in it and it will soothe, um, works sort of like skincare, it'll soothe some of that down. And then um, as far as what I went ahead and did, let's see, for bronzer today, I went ahead and used the NYX, and this is the Buttercup. And so this is the lightest bronzer, and this is what I went ahead and used for my bronzer today. Um, I did go ahead and start with the Wet n Wild. This is from their, uh, let's see, Nightmare Before Christmas blush. And this one is Barrel of Scares. It's a combination uh, lip and cheek, cheek product. Lip and cheek. There we go. And um, so I thought I was going to do um, more of a purple look, and it didn't end up being purple. So this is what I have on for my base. And then uh, what I went ahead and used for the actual blush was, let's see this one. Oh, here it is. Yeah. This is a NYX. Uh, this is one of the Buttermilk Face Palette. And these are coming out for the holiday season. You get three. Buttermilk products, two blushes, and a bronzer. I went ahead and used um, this color today, which is pretty tangerine. This is... Uh, sooner the butter. So this is what I have on as far as that goes. And um, the other, this is the lighter version. And then I also picked up the darker version. Uh, these are available over at Ulta. And it's sort of like getting buying two and getting one free. Um, so they run about $18. Each one of the buttermilk products, um, each one of the blushes or the uh, bronzers run about ten dollars so again it's like buying two and getting one free um, these are available over at Alta and on the next website I would definitely recommend them um, the, especially the buttermilk formula everybody's just really liking right now and uh, let's see what else did I do highlighter I used two from Moira I used uh, let's see Foxy Pink so I use this more as a um, uh, topper for the blush. And then I did go ahead and use the Moira, uh, let's see, Dreamlight as well. So that's pretty much what I have on right in the middle as the actual highlighter. As far as what I went ahead and used for the eyes, today I did use combination of the Panorama by L'Oreal and the Essence Volume Stylist this one um, is a tubing mascara, so I use this one. And then right before this one dry, dries, put a little bit of this on top to actually get a little bit more length. And I also use the Essence Make Me Brow in the dark brown. And then as far as my actual um, eyeliner today, I did pick up one of these. This is from the NYX Beetlejuice collection. And so did go ahead and use the black eyeliner today. Don't usually use a black eyeliner, and um, but um, since I was doing a darker brow, it's sort of mixed pretty well. This particular eyeliner also has, um, uh, yeah, 
a shimmery side to it. Didn't use the shimmery side today. Did use one of the products from the ice cream box, though. It's this one, and this is from ZZ. Uh, this is what I have on my waterline, and it is a gold hide. Uh, a gold eyeliner so I have the black on the bottom and then the gold right on the uh, waterline so that's what I have on there and again this came from the ZC box and then again from the ZC box I have the Ace Beauté and this is a lip a lip gloss and we got two lip glosses and we also got the Illuminati so I put these on and this really pretty brown color. It'll go really well with uh, fall looks, probably winter looks as well. And let's see, as far as the actual um, eyeshadow palette, this is Moon Slice Beauty. I got the New Moon palette. There were two options. I went with the colorful option. There was also uh, more of a neutral pink, pinky kind of version. And so this is the way it turned out. Like I said, when I started with it, I thought the undertones would be um, more on the purple side, but they're actually more on the red side. So I did use some of the purple in the crease, so a little bit of that in the crease. But what I ended up really doing was a halo eye and going ahead and using the red on the outer corner and the inner corner, and then uh, this gold right on the middle of the lid. So like I said, I did to do, end up doing a halo eye. Uh, the whole middle row is, here are shimmers, and then the two outer rows are all going to be mattes. It does run dark. I was expecting a little bit different. I mean, you're getting a beauty box, so you know that you, know, you aren't probably going to know the palette really well before you get it. But that's kind of the fun part with it because I kind of like um, it. It makes you be more creative to actually have to, you know, do something with a palette that you didn't you didn't research and you didn't you know plan. And so um, the quality is really good. Um, definitely pretty for fall. Uh, definitely will go really dark for you. Some of these browns. Um, this one is a cooler brown, and this brown is, has a little bit of red in it. And uh, these greens, um, like I said, if you want to go really dark with this palette, you can do it. And it's really pretty. So that's what I have on my eyes right now. This way that the look turned out. And like I said, I don't usually use black eyeliner, but since this look was going so dark, I went ahead and did that. And I also used it around the whole eye, and again, I usually don't do that either. So for me, this is looking a little bit out of my comfort zone and a little bit dark. Uh, the other palette that we got, because we got two palettes, is this one by Delancey, and it's an all shimmer palette, um, blues, this, uh, yeah. This, uh, this one is definitely a duo chrome that goes brown to green. And um, all of these are really shimmery shimmers, and I'll probably be doing a look with this one as well. And again, these ones are all pretty much multi-chromes. This one that's looking, yeah. This, oh, wow. Well, yeah, these are real multi-chromes. Um, this one is actually looking brown to me, even though it's looking, um, yeah. Those are some major multi -crims. So probably we'll do a look with this one as well. Um, but like I said, I'm happy with what I got. I mean, five to seven full-size products. That's really nice. Can't wait for the October palette to come out. Read on their website that the September palette didn't come out till later. They didn't ship till later because uh, everybody had to choose which palette that they wanted. So that kind of delayed everything. In October, there isn't a choice, so it'll probably ship out earlier, which was the one concern that I had um, was just, why is my palette taking so long? And um, probably we'll get them a lot sooner in October. But... Um, like I said, I'm new to this, so I haven't had one of these boxes before. Um, 
but I am really enjoying it, and I think I'll really like it. And so far, it was packed nice, the quality is good, and the it's, yeah, you aren't getting skimped or anything. You're definitely getting your money's worth with this one. I think it runs about $25 for the box per month, and then if you want to get the bag instead, it's about 13 So that's the video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.